it's Ben again, back with another video. Check this out. This is my latest Copart buy. This is a 1997 Honda Accord. Very clean. It's uh was a one owner up until a year ago. So how's that going for it? Needs a bumper, obviously. Fender. Most likely this headlight. And need to, I don't know if I'll need to put a new crash, the a different crash bar on this, or I can reattach this one, but it is loose. They got it tied up with a bungee cord. 142,000 miles. Um, it's it's very clean, outside and in. It does have the typical clear coat peeling on the top and on the trunk. Still not too bad. It does have a spot of rust right here, as you can see. It's the only spot of rust on the car. We'll uh, look inside. Whew, it's warm in there. Dash is good. Smells really good. Very clean. You can tell this is a one owner car. Well, it's technically it's two owner, but for for 20, 21 years it was a one owner. So I consider it still pretty much a one owner car. So it does have the manual crank windows. This is a, what do they call it, a value package. So it has the manual crank windows, does not have power locks, doesn't have cruise control. Ugh. Does have air conditioning though. Get fired up real quick. Uh, unlike most Copart vehicles that I bought, whoops. Unlike most Copart vehicles that I've bought, this one didn't have a dead battery. Yep, air conditioning works. Radio works, has a tape deck. That's old school, right? Automatic transmission. Put it in gear here. Goes into reverse, good. Goes into drive. I did take this down the road a little bit, only to find out that, whoops. The brake pedal goes to the floor. Now it doesn't leak brake fluid. I believe the brake booster is bad. Because, uh, I well, this is typically, and I've seen this a handful of times before, when you're in the accident, you smash the brakes real hard, and it'll damage either the master cylinder or the brake booster, or it'll blow a brake line if you have a weak brake line. Now, see, the fluid's full in here. The brake fluid's full. So, the um, brake lines aren't damaged. There's no leaks anywhere. But I'm just, I blew, I think, I blew the brake booster, the, the seal, like a seal inside the brake booster. Because you still have brakes, it'll still, it still doesn't go anywhere. You put it in gear, and you still don't move. You can still, I'm going to take my foot off the brake, it'll still stop, but your pedal's all the way to the floor, so. Yeah, this car, we'll shut her off. It does, it does have the check engine light on. I'm not sure why that's on. I haven't read the code yet, but um, I had an idea what it was, and now off the top of my head, I can't remember. I can't remember what I thought about. Anyway, um, tires are, there's two tires on here are decent, and two probably need replaced. 
I won this car for my winning bid was 125, 125 dollars. I I put 125 on it. Nobody bid against me, so I got it. And uh, uh, 303 dollars after fees was out the door. What I got for the gave for this car, so not too bad. Needs a fender and a bumper cover and a couple tires, and then obviously a brake booster. I don't know if I've shown you guys the bone yard. Now I got these biting flies hovering around my head. They they bounce off your head, but they don't bite you. They're just they're a bunch of wimps. They come they 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 sit in the trees and then they they swoop down and bang into your head, but they don't land on you and bite you hardly ever. Once in a while they will, but hardly ever. This is what I call the bone yard down here. I got my old vehicles and junk whatnot included is this this old girl right here what is this a 1997 honda accord with all the parts i need to fix the one i bought minus the tires i'm not going to use tires obviously this car has been sitting down here for about six or seven years and i've just been waiting for a car to pop up that i can use some body panels off this thing this thing has mechanical problems because it's got super high miles on it but uh, it's got good body panels, rust free. Got a good fender there, good bumper. Um, and uh, good brake booster, master cylinder. The brakes are good in this car. Well, they were when I parked it here, so obviously. Uh, master cylinder and brake booster are good. I'm just gonna change the set of it. Take the brake booster master cylinder off as a, as a set and put it in the other car. So, this is my uh, this is my reason for buying that other car. Otherwise, I wouldn't even have considered it. Um, nineteen ninety seven Accord. The I had a ninety four, which was the same generation as this. The four cylinder. This is these are the four cylinder models, not the V six. The V six has had more issues, but these four cylinder models run into the three hundred thousand mile range easy with very little mechanical issues. This car runs so good transmission shifts good I did drive it a mile down the road so it'll make a really good cheap car for somebody I figure I can sell this for about 1200 ish 12 to 1500 after it's fixed so so I'll be my latest buy I don't know when I'll get around to working on this uh, I do have some other things going on so uh, whenever the next video is you guys will uh, get to see it actually you might see them simultaneously some of these videos you know they're they're made months apart but they come out together just for just how the continuity goes on the on the channel here so thanks for watching we'll uh, catch you guys very soon